Welcome back to Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2018 and today it's yet again Champions League time and we're up against Man United. Man United is topping our group. They humiliated us uh, when we're up against them at Old Trafford. Now we are at home. This is San Siro and we desperately need to take revenge. Our only, only chance, like have a slight chance of going through for the group stage is us beating Man United. That doesn't happen, so it's basically game over. And even if it beats them, it's going to be really hard. But since last episode, well, we have kept on struggling. We have kept on playing really bad. And uh, yeah, we didn't manage to win a single game. We lost one and we had one draw. Especially this game we'll let's talk about, because this is a special one. Um, let's see what happens here. So they took a very early lead. Then one of our fullbacks decides get sent off, and then our other fullback decides to score an own goal. So we were down two goals and only had ten plays on the pitch. But slowly uh, we managed to fight back, and we actually managed to equalize uh, with two goals from uh, Berardi, and then. Borini decides to get injured and this is after we made all our substitutions which means we were forced to play the rest of the game with only nine players on the pitch one red card and one player that um, we couldn't replace after an injury so we were nine players against their 11 and look at this they scored in the 97th minute 97th minutes what's up with that ref seven minutes of extra time yeah, it was not fun. And of course, uh, they also have a, a one of our players on, on loan. So, uh, yeah. That was... I, I'm not pleased with that one, as you can see. But actually, Novaris having a pretty decent season. Uh, look at that. Seventh place. It's not bad for them. I mean, look at their history down in... Far down in the league system. Got up, got down, got up again. I mean, they should be very, very pleased with this one. Definitely. They actually have uh, not only one, but let's see here. Who's the other guy? They have um, two players on loan from us. So, uh, yeah, family's worst, isn't it? Or what they say. Uh, but today it's Man United and you all remember this, this disaster, this embarrassing humiliation and we need to take revenge now because, I mean, if we win this one, still we might not go through, we probably won't, but if we don't win with this one, it's definitely game over in the Champions League for us and you all know I said it before, uh, our board, they expect us to win, they... Uh, the, like the least, not the win, but the least expectation is for us to go through to the group stage. And if that hap don't, doesn't happen, they will be displeased with us. And also, Kalinic uh, picked up another injury. As you might remember, he was injured for quite a few games. Then he come back, played like one game, and now he's injured again. It's not too bad, though. I think it was three weeks when he picks it up, and it's down to like nine days now. So he will be, be back pretty soon. But yeah, this is the theme we are going to use versus uh, Man United and last time we were up against them when we played at Old Trafford we were trying to play a bit more um, defensively we were trying to counter attack and and so on but now we are coming out here blazing we're coming out here attacking and we're going to try to take three points but I mean you can see they have a lot of self-esteem because they are coming out here with a very attack minded formation than, themselves so yeah they are not here uh, for a draw they are here to try to take three points against us but uh, we are going to stop that. And of course, we're going to talk about the last game. We owe Man United, after what happens in our last match, go out there and get revenge. And look at this. Most of the players are motivated. Just um, what we were hoping for. So uh, it is game on. And let's pause it. Let's go to um, latest scores. To see, yeah, this is the game we want to keep track of, and we need Rapid Wien to create a small miracle away versus um, Atletico Madrid. If they can take points from Atletico Madrid, well, we managed to beat Man United, 
well then the dream is alive and we know that Atletico Madrid is up against Man United in the last round so but at the same time if Man United is already like uh, done deal with, with the group stage they might decide to rest some players play a weaker team folks actually this is interesting look at this both Bailey and Pogba is playing with potential injuries that's uh, that's really interesting um yeah do we actually go to opponents instructions here we are going to try to uh, to take a uh, to abuse this we're going to tackle harder on bailey i'm going to tackle harder on pogba of course we are risking uh, some cards now so it might not be a wise decision but uh i mean we are trying to to get them um, off the pitch especially getting pogba off the pitch would be very important for us and yeah I, I've never played to be a nice guy. We are going to do what it takes to to uh, to win. And if that means Pogba getting injured, well, that's um, how it had to be. Right now, there is Pogba with the ball, and uh, whenever he has the ball, you know there's some danger, and uh, that could come quickly. And I don't like it. It's raining here, and they looks to be getting the first highlight. Yes, Mkhitaryan, and that's a nightmare because that's Romelu Lukaku, and that was not the start we wanted. That was so, oh my god, this is so bad. Like, if we, at least if we could have taken the lead, like, we would have the dream, we would have something to fight for, but now a nightmare scenario here. Really, really not what we wanted. But still, the only good thing with this goal is it happened very early, so we have a lot of time here to try to turn things around. Uh, if you look here, look at that focus of attack. You're really, really trying to exploit the middle. But we are playing with a defensive midfielder. Like, it's not much else we can do to try to uh, counter that one. Um, and we are, yeah, kind of like that. Yellow card there for Biglia. Block is ticking, not much going on here since that early goal for Man United. Not much going on here with shots and chances either. Kind of like nothing at all. They are hitting the target though, where we are struggling a bit with it. I mean, we are barely creating any chances at all, so... We have some general cards, that's the only thing. Definitely for the second half, we're going to change around the formation here if nothing happens and, um, and go out um, attacking even further. It's uh, a pretty boring first half here. We had that early goal for Man United, and since basically nothing ever happened. Definitely time to go aggressive and uh, talk about we need something else here. Let's go to the tactics. Let's bring up Biglia a bit higher into the pitch. And uh, we want you to ease off on tackles a bit. Don't want to risk uh, a red card here. Same with, uh, with Abate. And... Uh, yeah, definitely displeased here. Let's try to, instead of retaining possession, let's try to speed things up, see if uh, if that um, helps. And Atletico Madrid has taken the lead versus Rapid Wien, so... I mean, they are huge favourites here, so... We were hoping for for a miracle, but... Um, miracle doesn't happen often in football manager, do they? And the clock is ticking, still nothing. At least we're creating more chances than Man United now, but... Nothing at all is going on here. We we need to go even more on the attacking side here because this is clearly not working. And uh, let's uh, change Kessian around to the box to box maybe see if uh, that can help him become a little bit more creative. We are gonna bring in uh, Sosa instead of uh, Locatelli here because he is a little bit better here up um, on the attacking side. And of course, instead, it's the wrong team, but great interception there by Bonucci. It's Bonventura. And he finds Silva. They're kind of lonely, though, guys. So they need some backup. Oh, that was a really rough challenge, but uh, apparently nothing. Looked like really rough from behind. Oh, what a beauty by Kessi. What a beauty. Take a look at that finisher. And yeah, the dream is alive. It's a very, very slight one, but it is alive. Take a look here. Kessie, and first that challenge, look at this one from behind, I thought that looked really ugly, but apparently not. But Mature picks it up, Silva, Silva sets up Kessie, and look at this one-touch finisher, and uh, yeah, really beautiful one.
And let's see here, who's having a bad day at work? Omentura has been complete garbage, same with uh, Rodriguez. I mean... What I want to do, maybe have him more on the attacking, at least, at least support, because uh, they are focusing on the mill, so he shouldn't be on t under too much pressure there. Let's bring in Piaka. And then wait a little bit longer with the last sub in case something happens here. So we, uh, we still have some options. Okay, it's ticking though, ticking quickly, ticking away from us. But nothing happens. Let's see who's really tired then. I mean, Biglia, I think uh, that will be an option. Bring in Fellaini. Maybe he wants to punish his uh, his old team here. And uh, he actually just come back from uh, from an injury. Uh, but um, as you can see here from his fitness levels. But, uh, I mean, he should be uh, motivated here to go out against his old team. And uh, we are actually, let's wait here. We are going to, for, for the last part here, we're going to go overload. I feel like we have nothing to lose. It doesn't matter if uh, if we lose the game. We are going to try to take three points here. And this is probably going to cost us, because, I mean, going overload versus Man United is very risky business. But here is Silva! Here is Silva! Here is Silva's goal! It's a goal by Andres Silva! And we are going to park the bus! What a beautiful goal! So, Fellaini, you are focusing on defense. And uh, we're going to bring down Sosa, we're going to bring down Soso, we're going to bring down Piaka. we're going to try to see what else can you do, support. There's something here you don't suck at completely, support. And definitely going to be focusing on defense, trying to play structured, go to the instructions here, we are going to be wasting time, we're going to try to retain possession. And... Is there anything else we want to try to do here? Because we are in it to park the bus here. We definitely need to park the bus. Let's confirm the changes. And now it's time to get really, really, really nervous here. Now we just need a miracle here from Rapid Wien. They say they should have like five minutes left uh, themselves. But let's first take a look at the replay here. It's Soso with a beautiful pass, world-class pass. That's the reason so many clubs... Uh, have been wanting to sign him from us uh, during uh, the first one and a half season. And now clock, you tick, 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 you can tick quicker. Four minutes of extra time, ref three would have been the more uh, suitable, I think. But look at the clock, look at the clock, oh my god. And of course, this man United, and they go into our box. Cleared by Abate. Wait, it's the full time, that's a full time whistle! It's a full time whistle! It's the full time whistle! And this is a sensational comeback. And I still don't know how the Atletico Madrid game ended. Because um, we didn't keep track of it at the end, probably they won because it was like five minutes left there. But first off, I'm passionate. I mean, you can hear from my voice right now the way I'm talking. I am passionate in, in real life. That was a fantastic comeback. You've done brilliant to come back and win. I'm proud of you guys. And I mean, remember the first game. We got destroyed at Old Trafford. We got humiliated. And then we managed to turn things around now. In this fantastic, sensational win. Now let's see how Atletico Madrid did. But this means we still... I mean, they won. They actually managed to score a second one. Pretty late in the game, I guess. Yeah, look at this on into extra time. Of course, it's Diego Costa. And uh, still, this means there's one round left. And in that round... Um, let's see, where is it? Shouldn't it be here? Maybe next? Yeah, in that round. Man United will play at home versus Athletic Madrid. If they manage to beat Athletic Madrid, and I'm definitely not taking that one for granted, definitely not at all, but if it happens, while we manage to beat Rapid Wien, and we are playing them away, so probably not going to be a face roll because not away games in Champions League never are but if that happens then we can actually overtake at like Madrid we can't overtake look at that goal difference so we, we want to overtake Man United especially because they will be winning uh, but uh, the problem is what, what could happen is that uh, uh, it's a draw between them while we win then they will end up on 10 points and we will end up on 10 points 
But we need to get a crazy big win, because look at this goal difference. They have plus four, well, well, we have minus two, which means we need to score like six goals just to be equal. And I think equal, they're probably going to go through from like, yeah, because they beat us. But still, this means even it's going to be very, very, very slight chance, probably not going to happen. There is a chance, which means we have another exciting, crazy Champions League game coming up, because... Uh, from the beginning, I don't think I was planning to to uh, use this game for an episode, but now we definitely need to. So, and, and that episode is coming up very soon. I'm just going to handle a Kiev game, and then we'll see what happens in the Champions League. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, guys, and see you in the next episode.